Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here, and today I've got the annual RV tour, the Eurobike DCR RV tour. Uh, now, those of you who've been following the channel for a while know that each year for a Eurobike, the great cycling show that there is in Europe, um, I actually rent an RV and drive it down. This isn't my RV, I rent it just like you rent a car from Avis or Hertz or anything like that. Uh, and in this year case, I rented in Amsterdam since I'm living there now. In the past, I rented in Paris, and, and it's just like the best way to do Eurobike. And for two reasons. One is that you're staying right at the show floor itself, and so you're staying like 200 meters away from the actual show floor, which is perfect, versus everyone else at Eurobike has to stay many, 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 many miles or kilometers away, like 30 kilometers away. Uh, and that may not sound like very far, but traffic is miserable. It's like the worst event ever from a traffic standpoint. Uh, so it could take like an hour, hour and a half to get in. So saving all that time is huge. Also, it's cheaper. Most of the hotels, that kind of stuff, like cost more than we rent the RV for, for a night. So it's it's crazy. Um, so I want to kind of show you what our setup is. Uh, we're filming this a couple days after Eurobikes. We've, we've moved on down the road. We're now in the Alps. Uh, yesterday we did the Stelvio ride, just awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, but kind of walk through how the setup was at Eurobike and how it is now as well for that matter uh, and what we got here outdoors is the trainer setup I'll talk about that second but indoors is the garage like this is where we store all this crap uh, so we got like tables in here and we got chairs um, our helmets are there a uh, really fancy tripod for that when you know the moment arises uh, just bike tools so crank sets extra crank arms uh, some pedals I mean a hammer all sorts of stuff you never know you might need out there uh, that's like where everything goes in at the end of the day up here we have all the trainers uh, so in this case we have two trainers that we're testing mostly trying to get like last minute data going into Eurobike so that's why I brought them with us uh, we've got the Elite Drivo 2 uh, and then we have the Wahoo Kicker 2018 uh, and so we've been riding those uh, doing lots of tests on those as well as the Wahoo Kicker Core uh, you can see our videos up there on all that kind of stuff uh, so check that out our bikes obviously so I've got uh, my bike there this is Shane's uh, rental bike here um, from uh, Cormantel in uh, the Netherlands so they were awesome they provided us bikes so awesome you guys rock um, I'll provide a Shane bike so I already had a bike but still awesome stuff and the Wahoo Kicker Headwind. Um, we've certainly used this while on the bike, but frankly, we've used it a lot more just cooling off the RV on hot days. Uh, it's been actually pretty awesome for that. So yeah, it makes a nice looking fan, but it makes a better RV fan. Uh, so heading on inside, show you what's in here. So in here is the, the center of it all. We'll walk through from the front to the back. Um, and you know, typically like this place is like our mobile command center for the week. So it's all sorts of random stuff in here. Starting with the table itself is of course, my side and Shane's side. Um, we don't we don't mix up. And um, by the way, Shane's the one recording all this video right now. So he's been did the whole RV tour this year with me. It's been awesome. We've been having a blast uh, doing all sorts of sports tech coverage. If you haven't seen his channel, definitely check that up on the screen somewhere. Uh, in my case, I'm using a MacBook Pro um, to go ahead and do all my video editing. And then I'm using a, uh, a Windows box to do all of my everything else in life. So I really only use this just for video editing. Uh, behind it, we got lots of hard drives stacked up. So uh, typical like ruggedized lacy hard drives, which are probably overkill, but I haven't killed any yet. Um, so that's kind of important. We've got our Android phone that's just purely doing Wi-Fi. It's just a Wi-Fi access point. Uh, let's see in here. These cables are awesome for charging things. So these cables have USB-C, uh, Lightning, uh, mini USB, two micro USBs. Uh, we've got like two of them stacked up here just for, for all the charging of all the things. So as you'll see, there's lots of things. On Shane's side, he has a MacBook Pro as well that he does everything on. He's much more consolidated than I, um, except he also has two phones too. Uh, one is a hotspot and one is not a hotspot. And uh, we're we're running like dual hotspots pretty much all day long, every day, uh, and stealing whatever all internet we can get. Then there is this. This is very, very important. Um, this is what keeps us fueled at uh, two, three in the morning. Uh, good old Herbo, uh, we love it. Uh, that just smelled awesome as I pulled that lid off there. Um, even Shane, that was that smelled great. So let's talk cabinets up here. This is like the incoming products cabinet. This is things that have just kind of people have given us while we're here at the show or whatnot. Uh, they're all boxed up and pretty ready to roll. So um, most of these, I think like this is C-Census for me. These ones I think for uh, Shane, that's for me. Um, so uh, it's all kind of a blend. And there's things that don't come in boxes too that are just all over the place. Like uh, these uh, fiddle lock bike mount water bottle things. Um, not entirely sure on those yet. 
up here uh, we've got our transformer so this is how we keep all of our crap charged on the road uh, i bought this years ago in new zealand and uh, we now use it with an adapter um, here in europe it's perfect for shane because it works with his aussie stuff no problem um, yesterday the stelvio it's as simple as that so that's always there um, and then up here, we've got the GoPro mount for doing the Llama Drive videos. Uh, so if you haven't seen those as well, check those out. Down here, we have power charging hell. Uh, basically, we have power strips. Shane has an Aussie one. Uh, I've got this tower, power eight ports, universal tower for everything. We've got USB, USB-C. We've got like just cables everywhere trying to power this entire situation. Uh, it mostly works. Uh, we've only lost power a few times today. Um, up here, devices. So this is split in two, two different parts. One is like GPS devices. So things like bike computers, uh, wearables, and then uh, heart rate sensors. And then over here is camera gear. Uh, so DSLR cameras are some here, some there, they're everywhere. GoPros, tons of GoPros, GoPro battery chargers. I've talked about this in my accessories post, um, lots and lots of stuff. You know, like we both are running battery packs all day long, just in case we're running out of juice. So this is a, uh, it looks like a standard 10,000 milliamp battery pack for a phone to charge. But what's cooler is it's actually got this little door right here that allows you, if you can get it open, to put a GoPro battery in charge inside and charge that. Awesome, it's like 20 bucks. I've been, been using it lately. Um, really cool stuff. I'll drop a link in the below as well on that. So shifting backwards here, we have the kitchen station. Uh, this is where really important things happen. We have a fully redundant uh, Nespresso setup right there. Uh, we want to ensure that at all times we have Nespresso coffee ready to roll so it's completely fault tolerant. Um, just because you know they don't sponsor us but really we're willing to be sponsors uh, let me make that clear at this point in time that if you want to sponsor us with a lifetime supply of haribo candies we'll talk about it on our videos forever really not kidding up here it just dishes and a dslr uh, because that's just the way things work and we're coffee down here uh lots and lots of coffee coffee is the name of the game uh this is all dishes and stuff nothing like really super special there it's just silverware like You've all seen silverware before. And then into the fridge here, um, I'll get Shane to pop around this side. I'll show you what we're eating, how we're, how we're eating, because it's, it's uh, probably not awesome. Um, so we've got pasta, we've got spetzel, we've got, we got some healthy stuff. Look, we have bananas and blueberries and peppers. Um, we've got some spetzel there, or schnitzel. Uh, we have some beer, which is funny because neither Shane nor I drink a lot of beer. Uh, we've got Wahoo beer, which is really, really funny because they had an event, I think it was Monday night at their booth, or Sunday night. Anyways, they had like these stacked up in massive, massive piles. It's just an open house sort of beer thing. And we wanted some to use as a prop for a video. Uh, we never ended up using a prop in the video. We never ended up drinking it. It's just there. Uh, maybe it would be like a collector's item or something like that. Um, and of course, cold coffees and M&Ms. Uh, we put the M&Ms and the bananas and all that crap in the fridge because this place gets like buku hot uh, during the day because there's no AC in here. There's no microwave, no AC. Um, up here is cereal. Uh, we've got pasta and then we've got good pasta. Um, yeah, that's actually, this is what it was called, good pasta. Um, we found that I think at a gas station one night just because. Uh, so that's there. Oh yeah, we have pizza too. This was horrendous, by the way. This is like a candy pizza thing. I think I tweeted it out. Um, not, not good at all. The famed weight scale for measuring devices. You never know when I pop up. And then uh, scrolling back here, this is like the, the bedroom effectively. So my side, Shane's side, there's a shower right there, which we mostly just use for hanging our cycling kits in. Uh, there's a bathroom on this side, so toilet and all that jazz. Up here is like drone stuff mostly. So uh, we've been rocking the DJI Mavic Air lately. Uh, some epic shots yesterday on the Stelvio. Up here is all like tripody things. So I've got the three-way, I've got the GoPro Karma, I've got the the big one from GoPro. It has a, a more appropriate name than that. Uh, we've got the um, Karma Grip. Um, well, this is Fusion, not Karma. Uh, and then we have a microphone just chilling here. So it's just riding along. And then we have a tripod that I broke the top off of uh, the other day. So we have a lot of things to hold camera gear uh, because that's super important around here. And then uh, that's, that's my side. I've got like the, this is all just charging crap and you know, like a wind uh, meter and more batteries and SD cards and just lots and lots of crap in there. Uh, we have the new DCR kits, uh, bagged up versions of those. So watch for those. Laundry over here, uh, warm stuff. 
uh, I think this, I don't know if it's, it's on Shane's side. It looks like more, more camera tripods. Like uh, this is all Shane's side over here. So it looks like uh, he's got some, let me just do this without squishing the bags. Uh, he's got uh, a little mini tripod thingy. He's got the three-way as well. He's got a bigger Joby tripod there. Uh, feels like a camera bag right there. So we're all about the tripods. And then over here, uh, let's see, again, I have no idea. That looks like a bag of something. His little, um, you know, USB charging pack as well. Uh, his wallet, I guess. Um, more charging camera lens. Dead cat. Uh, dead cat's actually got on top of microphones to keep them from wind. Um, his notes. So what is he, what's he saying here? Uh, food is horrible. Good pasta sucked. That was probably true. That looked pretty miserable, actually. Um, sunglasses, ticker heart rate strap, and uh, a box of nutrition bars there. Uh, so, and then just his sleeping bag. It's pretty straightforward. We pile a crap load of like suitcases down here, and then the ones that don't fit go in the shower stall there. And that's it. I mean, that's that's really all there is to the DCR Eurobike RV. So, hope you found this tour kind of interesting. Uh, definitely don't forget to check out the full like Eurobike playlist up there in the corner. Um, also, I'm not sure whether it'll drop before this video or after this video. I've got our like vlog of sorts from riding the Stelvio yesterday. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool. Just like totally different. Uh, kind of like this video, just a little bit out of left field, but um, that was a lot of fun. And obviously it's an epic climb that uh, it's like on everyone's bucket list. So it was on my bucket list and uh, I bucketized it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Go and whack that like button at the bottom if you found this interesting or that subscribe button as well so you get stay tuned for plenty of stuff that won't actually be anything like this video for another year. Have a good one.